and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron. Um, today's episode is a Primark haul and it is primarily, I think bar one or two things, is a pretty magical Primark haul. Um, I apologise in advance for potentially how long this video might get. Um, I hadn't quite realised how much Primark stuff, A, I've bought in the last few days and B, was already in my sort of built up box of kind of Harry Potter stuff to share on this channel. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, seven Primark visits lined up in front of me. Um, so anyway, enough waffling, let's just get into it because it could be a long one, I'm afraid. Um, so. I've got a few Primarks local to me and then also I do go a little, I don't say I go further afield, but if I'm visiting somewhere I will tend to try and find out if they have a Primark nearby that I can possibly go and have a look because you never know what you might find um, from one Primark to another. So the first lot is from the Kingston Primark. Um, who do tend to have quite a good selection. It's sometimes hit and miss. I think they have a lot when the things first come in, then they dwindle for a bit and then they pick up again. Um, so I've got a few bits. So the first thing that I got was, um, I don't know if this is intended as a Christmas decoration, but this year it became a Christmas decoration. So this is a 10 pack of LED lights. Um, which are, sorry I've got lighting everywhere, um, so they're little glass bars, I don't know what you can see in the reflection at this point but who cares, it's either mess or my phone. Um, so you've got five of this one type which has like black sequins in it and on the front it says potion number seven which is toxic, um, I think. Oh, they do have different numbers. So you've got potion number 113, 7, I can't read that one. They're all back to front, half of them back to front. Um, and then down the bottom you've got kind of, they've got bronze in them. And you've got, so you've got lace wing flies, can't see that one. Memory potion, I can't read that one either. And I can't read that one. Um, but yes, so that was £8 and I used the, this as sort of, on my Christmas tree, it was a Hogwarts themed Christmas tree this year, but it was kind of quite minimalist um, and round it I had the normal sort of white string lights or whatever you call them and then in between those I had these potion bottles. Oh that's a better picture, there's a picture on the back. Um, sorry about the shadow. So yeah, so we've got those. Then I, this is the first of the non Harry Potter related items. I have a Mrs. Potts money box. I don't tend to use money boxes, but um, I got the five pound chip mug that was kind of quite popular and everyone's trying to get like six or more months ago. Um, I managed to get that sort of only recently. Um, and then they had the Mrs. Potts money box. So I thought, well, I'm not going to use Chip as a mug and I'm not going to use her as a money box, but the two together will be quite cute. Um, and so she was £8 as well for her. I did spend a good five minutes stood there trying to find the nicest looking ones. Then only one more item from this haul, or th this shop should I say, um, is this Harry Potter bunting. Um, so this is three pounds, um, it's 1.8 meters long. I was gonna try and incorporate this within my Christmas tree, but I didn't in the end. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. I don't know where, where to drape it for now. Um, but it's got all the houses in it. Um, so that was, did I say three pounds? Um, and then in there, so it's got the gold ribbon and then you've got all four of your Hogwarts houses included in there. And so how many times do they repeat? Two. So they repeat three times. So they have, they've been fair. They have repeated them 
an equal number of times. I'll sort out that pile later. It's kind of a bit of a mishmash at the moment. And then the empty box. So yeah, so I bought two of those because yes, I thought I was going to kind of wrap them around the tree as well. But in the end, I think I thought that they were possibly too large or maybe I had too much stuff already wrapped around. I don't know. I was trying to be quite minimalist with my tree. I didn't want to go kind of too out there with Harry Pottery stuff. So it was quite understated. Um, anyway, the next bag of stuff I have is from the Slough Primark. So I was visiting my best friend for the day um, and she lives in that kind of area. And so we nipped into Primark. Um, and so I got, I love these slippers. So we've got velvety slippers um, that are navy blue with HP and stars all over them. And they're so soft inside. Um, these are £3.50 for those. Um, I think I got these because I do have another pair which kind of has Hogwarts on it. Yeah, they're grey with a Hogwarts symbol on them. They're kind of getting quite old and worn out now. Um, so I thought I'd buy a new pair. Um, so then the next thing we had, oh, so I bought that first lot of potion bottles. I didn't think I had quite enough. So I bought a second lot to go with it. I was so glad because I was worried that sometimes what I feel is in Primark is if you don't get something now, you might not ever see it again. So I was worried that once I'd only bought one potion bottle set, I was kind of like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get another one, but it was fine. So we were okay. Um, and then, I love this. I haven't worn it yet. It's just been sat in the box. So I got this hoodie, and it's a lovely grey hoodie. I don't know if you can see that because I can't see the camera. Um, but yeah, so it's got the Hogwarts crest on it. This was £10. Um, what size is this? This is apparently a medium. But it seems quite sort of large. Yeah, it just says medium. 38 to 40 inches. Um, so I saw that because it was the only, it was actually the only one there and I saw it and I thought it was quite nice because I don't tend to buy clothes that you would wear out, um, when I go to Primark, I just, or anywhere really, I don't tend to because I sort of think, will I actually wear it? I'm not really one for going out in t-shirts and things with the Harry Potter stuff on. That's why a lot of my stuff is pyjamas. Um... And so, but I saw that one, I thought that looked really nice and looked really comfy and it was the only one there. So I was like, it's a sign. And also all of the kind of jumpers and hoodies around it were like Gryffindor and whatever and not Ravenclaw and not Hufflepuff and probably not even Slytherin actually. I think they were just Gryffindor. There probably was a Slytherin. Um, but yes, and that is all for that one. So that was a nice quick one as well. Um, throwing bags everywhere. Then the next one I went to was back at the Kingston one. Um, they didn't have a lot in the day I, this particular day I went, or it might just be that all they had in was stuff I already have. Um, but the first thing I picked up is this little backpack. So it's a black rucksack with an under pocket, which is a bit weird. It's like got this under pocket here that you can open and it's currently just got like some sort of bubbly wrap. Oh, I'll try and zip that up again. And on the side, which I haven't taken out yet, is, I don't know if you can see it slightly through the paper, is it is a Hedwig key ring on the zip there. So it's a fluffy Hedwig in there. So I've put everything else I bought that day in here as well for ease. So the first thing I got, I always seem to get a canvas bag, but that's usually because I've forgotten to bring another canvas bag. And so I want to load all, I don't like getting their paper bags um, because if it's raining or rains at all or anything or is slightly heavier than a feather, um, they tend to rip. Um, so I think this day I didn't have a canvas bag or I might have done, but I saw this bag and I thought I need that. So it is a Beauty and the Beast Disney princess bag. So it's her and the castle and the rose and you've got Lumiere down the bottom. So I got that and that was three pounds. Oh, and this bag was 12 pounds. Um, and then other things I got along with 
in the bag section. Um, so I know I've shown before that I got the Ravenclaw set of six pack of pins from them. Um, as I realised, all the pins on each pack I think are slightly different and only some of them actually, I think half of them refer to the house, whereas the other half are sort of generic pins um, relating to Harry Potter. Um, so I picked up, so as I said, already got the Ravenclaw one, so I picked up the Hufflepuff one. So we've got this banner with Hufflepuff written on it. We've got HP, we've got the badger for Hufflepuff, we've got a winged key, we've got, um, this just says Hufflepuff, and then this is a little banner that says Hogwarts. So that was three pounds for that one. Um, and that was the only one they had a full set of. They also had two Gryffindor ones, but they were miss both of them were missing pins. So I did manage to retrieve one pin from one of them and put it on the other set to get a full set of six. Um, but obviously someone or several people have gone along and taken pins from them basically and swapped them over to get the pins they want. So this was what I ended up being left with. So the Triwizard Cup was on the other one that I picked up and moved over. Um, you've basically you've ended up with two lots of Gryffindor, two lots of number seven, and then the same HP as I think on the Hufflepuff one, which is a bit of a shame. So the other ones that were meant to be on here in place of the two duplicates is the Gryffindor House Crest and the Lightning Bolt. They were meant to be the other two. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the duplicates. I might give them to friends or whatever but it's a shame because I would have liked the whole sort of set of them um, and annoyingly I didn't think of this earlier which is again the case of you've got to get it when you see it um, most of the time I now can't seem to get my hands on any more Gryffindor and Slytherin ones anywhere um, which is a bit of a shame I think I saw the Slytherin one ages ago and didn't get it because I wasn't thinking about oh they've got different pins other than just the generic like house ones um which is a shame and I don't have a complete set of that so I would love a complete set of the Gryffindor and the Slytherin pins but um so that was three pounds they did actually give me a little bit of a discount because of the fact that they weren't the correct pins um then the next thing is they have started doing a range of candles I know I'm a Ravenclaw and this, as you can obviously tell, is a Gryffindor one. Um, is So they've started doing a range of candles. There's five candles in the range. You've got the four houses and then you've got a generic Hogwarts one, um, which is white. Um, so all they had in there at the time was a Gryffindor one and a Hufflepuff one. Um, so I bought a Hufflepuff one for one of my friends for Christmas um, because she is a Hufflepuff so I bought her one and then I contemplated getting just not getting any of them because it wasn't Ravenclaw but then I thought actually the case that this is in is kind of a bronzy sort of colour so I thought even if I just burn the candle and then I'm left with this nice little pot which is kind of a glass bottom with the bronze top and the bronze HP, I just thought, well, that's nice as sort of a generic pot that you can then put other stuff in. So I did get the Gryffindor one, and the smell on the Gryffindor one is sweet lily and vanilla. So they are all scented, and they're all scented differently um, for those. So I did buy the Gryffindor one. Then, I think, yep, yeah, that is all that is in that bag. Then, next, I, where was this one from? Mm, I think I remember which one this one. So I went to Watford for the weekend um, for one of my friend's birthdays. Um, and so we went out for the night on the Saturday and then on the Sunday we went and had a bit of a walk in to Watford High Street um, and the shopping centre there which has a Primark in it. Um, and although I was a little bit hungover, so this was probably the most painful Primark shop ever, I still did it. I powered on through that hangover and still trawled my way around the whole of Primark in Watford. 
Um, and so I managed to get, I have seen this posted online and stuff like that, um, but I managed to get it. So it is a pillow, which is the Hogwarts letter. So it says the cupboard under the stairs for Privet Drive, little winging, sorry. And then on the back, it's got the envelope flap. So this was six pounds. I then got, it's easier just to take the pile out of the bag. That's now an empty bag. Um, so then the rest is jewellery items. So the first thing I got is, with a flashback to the 90s, we have a choker, like a stretchy choker with the Deathly Hallows on it. And then we've got a velvet choker with the lightning bolt scar on there so that two pack is two pounds so a pound pound a necklace then we have the next thing is it's an interchangeable key ring set so you have the base key ring and then which has at the moment has got a hogwarts logo on it and then you can change it for the nine and three quarters symbol the lightning bolt, um, that is Gryffindor, which is a shame, um, and then just the generic Harry Potter. There. And that was two pounds for that one. And then the next thing, which is quite hefty, um, is a Marauders map necklace. So we've got the Marauders map on the front there. And it's a locket, so if you open it inside, it's so it's got a magnet on there. So it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. You probably can't actually make that out at all. And then on the back, when you shut it, it then says, Mischief Managed. So it covers all bases. So that was £3. And then the final thing from there is a five set of rings which I got in the small size because I have really tiny fingers so you've got the Deathly Hallows you've got the HP logo you've got a snitch that wraps around has its wings wrapped around your finger you've got just a generic sort of cubic zirconia one there and then last of all you've got Harry's um, glasses with lightning bolt and so that set of five was three pounds so that was all from the Watford one. Um, I did also buy one of the big holdalls um, because one of my friends, I got it from the London Tottenham Court Road store um, the day that they opened or two days after they opened that store and I got it and when she saw it she was like, I really want that one. And literally for the last however many months I have not seen it but I have been keeping my eye out because I knew she wanted it and I actually spotted it in the Watford one. So I did, um, I bought that one for her. Um, so then the next one, I technically didn't buy this. <laughs> Someone else is helping to feed my addiction. Um, so after I bought the candle of Gryffindor and then gave the Hufflepuff one to my friend for Christmas, I kind of thought to myself, actually, it would be quite nice to have the full set of candles. So even before I've burnt them, it will just be nice to have the four lined up in a row. Um, and then when I have burnt them, I can always then store something else of the house colors or what have you in the candle again as like a bit of a storage pot um and so i then ended up trying to desperately look in primarks to find them so when i went in the watford one they didn't have any or i think they had one and it was just a lone slithering candle and it was kind of looked like it had just been dumped there and it didn't look in great condition so i didn't bother getting that one um, but then my friend who I bought the Hufflepuff candle for, she was up in London and she went in the Tottenham Court Road um, Primark and she was looking for other stuff for me but then she mentioned they had the candles and I said, oh, brilliant, which houses do they have? And she went, oh they've got all of them except for Gryffindor and I was like, amazing! 
because that's the one I don't really care about because I already had it. Um, and so she bought me all of the other houses. So we have Slytherin um, and this one is scented of rose, gardenia and musk um, and is in a silver case. Then we have the Ravenclaw one which is in a bronze case again um, and this smells of cosy cashmere. I don't know what cosy cashmere smells like. And then the last one is obviously Hufflepuff and this smells of patchouli and ginger. Um, although it is worth pointing out that we did get all of these out and smelt them while I was round her house when she handed them over and there was a group of us there smelling them. And they actually were quite subtle smells. They weren't like overpower like ridiculously overpowering smells, um, which was a bonus because I'm not a massive fan of strongly scented candles, especially when you read it and you're like, musk? Musk for the Slytherin one? Not sure about musk. I don't like the smell of musk. Um, I've said musk too many times now and it sounds weird. Um, but yes, so I now have the set of the four house candles um, at that point in time, which gives you a hint of what you, I'm going to show you shortly. At that point in time, I didn't have the Hogwarts one. I just had the four houses, but I was happy to just have the four houses, even if I never managed to get my hands on the normal, just plain Hogwarts one. Um, but anyway, the next lot, I have, this, is, this is a full bag. This is quite full. Um, so this... Where was I? Ah, this was the other day I had a meeting over um, in Essex with work and I then afterwards, because I didn't really want to be hitting rush hour traffic on the M25 to get home, um, I thought I'd nip into Lakeside where I knew they had a Primark and a Disney store. Um, <laughs> I didn't buy anything in the Disney store. Winning! Um, but yes, so I went into the Primark there and they actually had quite a lot of stuff and if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen a little preview of these items um, because they had a massive range of new items in. Although, a word of advice, when you go to Primark and if you are after Harry Potter things, You've literally got to go everywhere in Primark because they have stuff dotted all over the place. It's not like going to the Tottenham Court Road one where they've kindly put it all in one section for you. There are things everywhere, absolutely everywhere. So the first thing I got was in homeware. I already have a set of coasters, but they are house coasters, whereas these are just generic Hogwarts Crest coasters. Um, so it's a four pack of coasters. It is four pounds, so a pound of coaster, homeware section. Then, pyjama section. Got some pyjamas. So, these say, I don't go looking for trouble, trouble usually finds me. I do like that slogan, and in the past, when I've seen that quote on, I say slogan, it is a quote. When I've seen that quote on things, it tends to be t shirts or things like that, and I kind of look at it and go, I'm never going to wear them. Never going to wear them. So there's no point in me buying it. But I saw these pyjamas and I thought, yes, I will get these. So it's just a t-shirt and then you've got the trousers. So it's kind of a weird colour. It's like khaki, khaki grey sort of colour. Um, but yes, so I got those. I got them in a large, so a 14 to 16. Um, and they were, where's the price tag? I've lost the price tag. They were £10. Then the next item, or items should I say, were three chocolate frogs. Um, these came, these were in the sweet section which was kind of along by the one of the tills, um, the queues by the tills. Um, these were £4 each, which is cheaper than you can tend to get them online. Um, they do have a wizard card in there that's like a 3D lenticular. I think it's lenticular card in there. I'm not going to open these because unlike the Studio Tour chocolate frogs, this is the only wrapping that is around them. 
um, so I don't really fancy eating three chocolate frogs now. Um, so what I probably will do is when I open these, I will post on Instagram or something, maybe if I remember, I will post the wizard card that I got for those. So they were £4. I have found them elsewhere cheaper. They were cheaper in Toys R Us when I saw them last, but that was basically the last time I'd seen them in a shop, I think. So they are starting to now do the sweets, I have seen. So they've got the chocolate frogs and they've also got the jelly slugs. I think they're jelly slugs. I didn't buy any. Um, then the next item was in the homeware section and it was the... Gen Excuse me, I've got hiccups now. It is the generic Hogwarts candle, so it's a nice white candle in the gold case. So I don't even think Gryffindor was in a gold case. No, Gryffindor was in a bronzy case. So this is a gold case, which actually makes me really happy because I'm the kind of person that I like when it comes to things being like ordered, I like an odd number, which may sound odd, but I like, oh, odd, um, unusual, but I like an odd number because then you can have something in the middle and then it kind of symmetrical either side. So this is amazing because this is gold, then next to it I can have the silver, the two silver ones, and then I can have the two bronze ones on that side so they can go out like that. Um, yeah, I'm strange <laughs> about these things because otherwise I was gonna, I don't know how I was going to arrange the candles. I, obviously there's that I could have had bronze, silver, bronze, silver, or the two bronzes and then the two silvers. So all this does is just makes my decision obvious that I'm going to do it two, two, and then one. Um, and this one smells of vanilla and honey. I haven't smelt it yet. You can kind of smell it. So it is quite understated but yeah so it's got hogwarts and it's got the little moon in the background there so i now have the set of five and it makes me really happy um the next thing i got or uh, next yeah next couple of things i'm not trying to get these things were in the children's section <laughs> so this was on the kind of kids accessories sort of bit so the first thing i saw was this little it's a bag, it's an over the shoulder bag of Hedwig and he, you can't, and can you tell, he's glittery, he's so shiny, I love him, shiny Hedwig, Ooh. love it, so he's shiny and he's got this really long cable, which it probably isn't actually that long because it's never a trial, um, or at least it was in the kids section, so you assume it's never a trial, and this was £5, so I got that for £5 and they had the matching purse. So this is a little purse. And he was three pounds. Oh, I say he, it's a she. Um, then the next, no, we'll go with this one. This next thing, oh, these next two things, how handy. We're also in the kids section. We've got a pom-pom and it's key ring and it's got Edwig on it in like, a little thing and that was two pounds and then this other one which was also in the kids section is also two pounds it's a pom-pom and it's it's half white half blue and then it's got the ravenclaw thing on it ravenclaw crest that's the word um and that is two pounds um they did have them in all the other houses as well so i think hufflepuff which was a bit weird hufflepuff was blue and yellow Slytherin, I think, was white and green. And then Gryffindor was red and yellow. So it was a bit weird. I was surprised that they didn't just do, like, red and white, yellow and white, blue and white and green and white. But because, obviously, blue and yellow, I was a bit like, is this the Hufflepuff one or the Ravenclaw one? And then I picked it up and saw it had the Hufflepuff crest on it. Um, then we've got a lot of jewellery items. So... things dropping everything okay so this is one set of necklaces and bracelets and such i'm not sure what and earrings so this first set 
we've got. It's got four sets of earrings, a necklace, and what I can only think is a charm bracelet. So the earrings, you've got plain cubic zirconia, you've got two little dobbies, you've then got two sorting hats, and then two Hogwarts crests. I don't know how well you can see those on the camera. Then we've got the necklace, has dobby on it. And then the charm bracelet, you've got the Hogwarts letter, the Elder Wand. Is it the Elder Wand? Mm, no, that might actually just be Harry's Wand. Harry's Wand, Dobby, again, the Sorting Hat, and then the Night Bus. So it kind of, some of them pair up that you could wear the Sorting Hat earrings and the charm bracelet. Um, and that was £5, as you can see. The pile next to me is going to fall over. I can feel it. Um, and now I love, absolutely love this set. So this is another bracelet earring necklace set. Um, this bracelet is not turning around. Oh, I'm going to leave it. It's got, again, cubic zirconias. It's got lightning bolts. It's got the Hogwarts acceptance letter, which goes with the necklace, which I love. And then it's got some H's for Hogwarts. And then you've got an H bracelet and then a lightning bolt bracelet there. So what I think is quite nice is they kind of have tried to do it that you can pair these up um, in the sets. So obviously you can wear the necklace with the letter earrings. You can wear the H with the H earrings. You can wear the lightning bolt with the lightning bolt earrings. And luckily, because I have two holes in my ears, I can wear the cubic zirconias with any of them, which is pretty cute. So I do like they've done that have they done that on this one not so much but yeah they kind of half have so yeah so that one was also five pounds then the next one some of these things do start kind of duplicating <gasps> oh have I broken that have I broken you I'm slightly worried I've broken this I might have to take this one back because I don't know where that one is I might have lost a charm. So this next one is a set which has a velvet choker on it. And then it's got lots of little charms that you can kind of hang off of it. Because I think it's like a double thing. that It's the choker and then a chain. And so on here you've got the night bus. You've got a gap. Which I don't know what should have... I can't remember what should have been there and whether it was there. I'm sure I would have noticed if that was missing. Then you've got the Hogwarts letter, you've got Harry's or the Elder Wand, and then you've got Dobby on there, and there's just a simple cubic zirconia on the choker. I'm going to put that aside and try and work out if it's just broken off in my bag. Um, then the last one is that I've got in my pile at the moment is, again, was in the kids section. So whether these fit is going to be questionable, but it's a set of five rings. You've got the lightning bolt. You've got the Deathly Hallows. I'm not sure if that's focusing. Oh, it's all going wrong. That's why you shouldn't precariously balance your camera on a very lightweight tissue box. Anyway, um, so where was I? Lightning bolt, Deathly Hallows, Sorting Hat, Snitch, and then something that just says Harry Potter. So these were £2. These were in the kids section, um, so they may be quite small, but they do have on the back, they've got the kind of extender backs, the ones that kind of pull apart if you need them bigger. So we've got those. Um, and then we have two key rings which were both £2 each. The first one is possibly, if I move that out of the way, possibly Harry's wand or the elder wand, I think. I haven't worked out which one is which. But it's that, and then next to it, it's got a key ring that says Wingardium Leviosa. I'm really sorry about the bad focusing of my camera. But yes, it does say Wingardium Leviosa. And then the other one is... A lovely little winged key. So that's quite cute. In Both in a silver. What else do I have in this bag? Because I did buy some other Harry Potter stuff. But I will share that in a generic 
Harry Potter haul, I think. I'm intrigued. Unless I break things. I'm intrigued to see if I have. genuinely like broken it myself sorry if you can see any of the stuff that's coming out of this bag hmm. that is a weird one there is nothing else in that bag so but yeah I wouldn't have thought that I I would have noticed, I'm sure I would have noticed if something was missing from that. I need to have a better look around just to see. The thing is, it could have broken between me picking it up and it being scanned through at the till and possibly if they put it through. I can't think how it, I can't even think how it came off. That's what I'm really confused about. I don't even remember what it was. I'm trying to think, what's the, th where's, it's the Dobby one. So it's got Dobby on it. So we've got the Elder Wand, the Letter, the Night Bus, Dobby. So all I can think is it's the Sorting Hat. I think that's gonna be the Sorting Hat, maybe. But yeah, I'm going to put that aside. Um, so, anyway, uh, let me load up these other things that I bought in Hamleys because they are not relevant right now. Sorry for just showing you the top of my head and my questionable hair roots. So, the last bag I got, it's in a Hufflepuff bag. Um, I bought the Hufflepuff bag, which I'll probably, I'm just going to sell it on to my friend, the Hufflepuff one. Um, I got this because I, this was a bit of a last minute decision. So I was up in London today at a meeting. Um, and so I nipped over to the Tottenham Court Road Primark with the intention of not buying anything. Didn't happen. Never happens. Um, and yeah, I didn't have a bag. So as usual, I didn't want one of their car uh, cardboard paper ones. So I thought, well, at least if I buy the Hufflepuff one, I know that she won't mind taking off my hands. So the first thing I got, which I didn't think I was going to get when I saw it, but uh, it was never in a shop before, um, is this London to Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express ticket in a nice frame so again it's a black frame as I've mentioned if you've watched any other of my videos where I've bought a photo frame of some sort I am aiming still not happened um to fill this lovely wall here with lots of Harry Potter prints um and things like that and the aim is to have them all in like black frames um so it's quite nice that Primark does pretty much all of its range in black frames so I got that um, and then I got this necklace, which is very cute. This necklace is, it's got a little potion bottle on the end of it and it's got gold glitter in it and it's a hiccuping solution apparently. And that was three pounds. Then, uh, sticking with the jewellery, they had another set which they didn't have in the um lakeside shop um and so this one was five pounds so you've got your cubic zirconia but i think the difference is this lot is in silver no i think it's still in gold you've got your cubic zirconias you've got your flying wings flying wings flying keys you've got some snitches you've got some little tiny deathly hallows with the flying key necklace that obviously also matches that key ring that I got um, a deathly hallows bracelet and then a snitch bracelet so you can again you can wear the flying keys with the necklace the deathly hallows with the bracelet the snitches with the bracelet and then the generic cubic zirconias with any of them so that one was five pounds then we have 
they have these in all the houses it's a sort of wooden plaque um so i got the ravenclaw one they did have all the others so and that is three pound it's actually called a wall plaque so it tells me it's a wall plaque if i didn't already know um then i bought these just standalone they're a set of pajama bottoms but they've got the hogwarts letters on them so they're quite cute um they kind of they didn't really they came on their own they didn't really come with a t-shirt um at all so what i might do is just buy like a burgundy vest top or something to wear with them but yeah it does actually say on here it says it's got this little that says harry potter limited edition and it's like embossed with the hogwarts crest there on like a seal a wax seal um so i don't know what makes it limited edition at all um but they were eight pounds and on the side they've also got this little thing that says property of hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry um so i really like those so that's why i got those and sticking with that theme i got a pair of socks that have the letters on them as well and they were two pounds um they did have quite a lot of new like socks in the range um and then i think this might be the last thing actually um so one of my friends have this if i can get it out of the bag already so now we can match which we actually do have done before in harry potter themed pajamas um, so my friend did already have this, but I haven't, I don't believe I'd actually ever seen this before until now. Um, so this is a pyjama set that has Hedwig on the front and says, waiting for my letter. There's a bit of a theme to all of these items. They've all got this letter on it. Um, and then the bottoms are just starry and like, they're kind of fleecy flannel if that's actually a thing but this is so soft normally i don't wear like fleecy type pajamas but these were just too cute to resist and i probably have picked up the most dodgy pair i could have found that's fine i'll just cut off the loose threads later um and they were so many tags that was 15 pounds so that is this is slightly more expensive. Oh no, that didn't work. This is slightly more expensive than a normal set of pajamas that I normally buy. Um, but yeah, I bought them anyway because they were cute. And yes, I can now match with my friend. And that is it. So that is my entire magical Primark haul so as i said there were only two things that were non-harry potter um but that's what i tend to go in for um and yes so that is everything um i hope you liked this video sorry it's a little bit long i think i'm about to push 35 40 minutes maybe um so i shouldn't really be waffling um but yes so i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please give it a thumbs up um and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this um i also do sort of generic harry potter hauls where i've just show you all the general harry potter stuff i've got i will usually only do a primark specific haul if i know that i've kind of bought quite a lot of stuff like that in close succession all from Primark um, and I do unboxings this did kind of start out as it was meant to be a craft channel which is why it's called Joe's Crafty Cauldron um, so there should intermittently be podcasts about crafting um, when I actually get around to filming one so there might be one coming soon actually because I have been actually slightly more active with crafting and what have you so maybe maybe more um i in terms of my unboxings i have sorry i know i'm waffling now um i have received it's over there that's why i'm pointing over there i have received the latest um geek gear world of wizardry box um which for the i really want to show you this 
excuse me, I'm gonna grab it. I'm just gonna go outside for a second. So, for the new year, they have come up with a new uh, box design. They are trying to bring out more exclusive stuff, like better things um, and stuff like that. And so the first thing is they have changed the box. So it's this wood, wood effect that's meant to be a suitcase. I love it. And it's got little Niffler fingers there. So it's got two little Niffler fingers poking out. It's got some scarves poking out. It's got the other two houses poking out on that side. Um, and it says no muggles allowed. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is quite a beautiful new box. Um, so this will probably be the video that comes up after this video. Um, I'm not unboxing it yet purely because I do have two unboxings um, that I do for Geek Gear, which is this one and then their pins um, box. Um, so I'm literally now just waiting for that box to arrive and then I will be doing the unboxing for this. Um, but anyway, that's me digressing um, on that one. Um, so yes. So if that any of what I've just mentioned that appears on my channel is of interest to you, hit the subscribe button, then you'll be notified um, when my future videos come out. Um, anyway, that is all from me. So I will see you all very soon in my next video. Thanks as always for watching um, and speak to you soon. Bye.